It's been a long time since I've been this excited about my sewing plans. And it might have something to do with this lovely sequence. You all, let me tell you all about it. One, two, three, four. I'm Maddie with Maddie Sews, and thanks for hanging with me, you all. So today's another Friday Sews where I get to share with you what I've been working on, what's coming up, and a little bit about life. And you all, I've, I've actually been pretty productive this week. So let's just start with what I've actually have, well, what I've been working on. I got a pretty large order of pin cushions on my website, and so... I have been putting together these little cuties here. The person who wanted these pin cushions actually wanted some pretty fun stuff on them. And they're meant to be used in kind of a positive way. Like, you know, if I'm working on my self care, like if I'm working on showing more love to my hubby, or if I'm working on my wealth, you see that? And then on this side, health enjoy so you can put a pin in it when you start moving in that direction when you've actually got a little task done in that area i thought that was so cute no of course these are all flat i mean it's just <laughs> that's the front side that's what it looks like they're gonna look like this <laughs> when they're done so i've been working on those pretty tirelessly actually that uh, I, I have to make quite a bit of them. <laughs> and then I got in some special orders, but that's that's going to be coming up soon. I also finished my hat. Now, if you follow me on Instagram, and you can catch me right there at Mari Sews for Curves, you've probably already seen this picture where I practically broke my dress form trying to spin it around and show you, but let me show you my hat. So let me do a little twirl for you all. I mean, I threw everything I had on this. Now, okay, now hear me out, hear me out before some of you guys are like, oh my God, what did you do? Okay, the Kentucky Derby is kind of known for having these like kind of outrageous hats. The bigger, the better, the crazier, the better, like all of that good stuff. And so I was really kind of go for, I was, well, I was going for the more is more. <laughs> so you can see those big pearls that I showed you last week. They're right down in there at the front. I um I really kind of felt like I needed a bit of a space filler. And so I popped those in there. There's all the flowers coming around. And then the fun part is the bow. You all. Check out this bow. So I did take your guys' recommendation, actually. And I used both the tool and the netting in the bowl. But then look, I found these little spike rhinestones in with my ribbon stash, which was a really pleasant find. I don't even remember what I bought them for, but I had quite a bit of it. So I wrapped the center of that bow with all of the little rhinestone spikes. And then I also put it <laughs> on the top of my hat. <laughs> so it really kind of feels sweet and... Don't mess with me. You, you know, it's it's like the equivalent of mixing lace and leather, right? It's a real sweet, prim and proper with the I'm a baddie vibe. <laughs> so I absolutely love it. I'll be wearing it with... Let me go get the dress so you can show. So I can show it. This dress. And so I'll be sure to review this for you soon. Actually, I'll be wearing both the dress and the hat tomorrow to the um, American Sewing Guild's spring fling that they're having over in Northern Virginia. And um, yeah, I, I can't wait to share all of those details with you. Okay, so let's talk about what is coming up. What, what do I have planned? So now that I finished this dress and I, I love this little flower dress, I'm thinking about frock tails, which is coming up in a couple of weeks in May. And I, I was originally kicking around an idea of a skirt with like a little flare detail or a pantsuit, like a loose fitting, soft looking pantsuit. And I think that's actually the direction I'm going in. In fact, I went to Three Little Birds last weekend and picked up some fabric. Beautiful slub fabric. I mean, 
the the color is just gorgeous. <laughs> can you can you tell? It's my favorite color. <laughs> but the yeah, the color is absolutely amazing. It's really kind of light. It's got some really beautiful drape to it. I got five yards of this. I can't remember how much I got it for. I know that they were running a sale for 20, 20, 25 percent off. And um, I picked up five yards of it. I'll link to it in the description box below in case you're interested in this fabric for yourself. But it's beautiful. I could see all kinds of jumpsuits and dresses and oh, it's beautiful. So this is for both the jacket and the pants. Now let me show you what I got for the little like crop top that I'm planning on making. Isn't it amazing, you all? Oh, I love this thing. And you know, it's actually been years since I've um, sewn up sequins like this. So it's going to be a fun process. So here's where I'm a little stumped right now. I don't know what pattern to use for my crop top. I mean, like at first I was thinking about a bustier type of top. Um, but you, you know what? I don't want to pull out boning. I don't, I don't want to have to do that much work. And you all know, I always have to do a massive full bust adjustment on everything. And so I was thinking about just kind of going a little more simple with this one and making a beautiful crop top. So if you have a pattern that you've made up and that you recommend, drop it in the comments below because I, I could really use some inspiration. Absolutely, I, I could use it. I'm going to use my like poor, poor scissors that I use that I just, I put a beading on these things. You all, these are just um, a pair of Fiskars. They're the very first scissors I picked up years ago when I started sewing, but you know what? They sharpen up pretty well. I mean, I, I think at the time that I bought them, they were about $25. If I find them, I'll link to them in the description box, but I cut everything with these things. Leather, sequins. I cut open boxes. Yes, I do with these. And then I sharpen them with this little guy right here. And it actually sharpens it pretty decently. I can definitely tell a difference when I sharpen these things. This um, my husband gave me for Christmas one year. You all, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to take a look for all of this stuff because honestly, you need to have one of these if you don't already have one. It's the, it's just so extra convenient. And I mean, with the age of these scissors, I like sending them off to get them sharpened. I don't know, I just, I, I, I don't really do it. But, <laughs> but I will do this before every project and it makes my scissors really sharp. So I have a speaking engagement tomorrow and my husband was supposed to be coming with me. Well, the grandparents were gonna watch the kid and one of them got COVID. Now they're okay, but it means that my husband needs to stay back <laughs> and hang out with the kid now. So I guess I lost my buddy. <laughs> at the actual event and I think it's okay. I, I, I think I can live without him. I just think I'll just make some extra jokes about him or something like that and, and it'll, it'll be a good time with the ladies. Let me tell you, as much as I like winter, I have to confess, I think spring is probably my, my favorite season of all. I mean, I like the weather. I feel so energized. I even like looking at the fresh, bright, greenish, yellow color of the leaves as they're like coming out on the trees. This time of year is my favorite. And it tends to be, I think, my most creative. Around this time last year, I did an entire swimsuit series where I was sewing tons and tons and tons of swimsuits using different fabrics and testing them out in the swimming pool in Florida at my in-laws house and just having a good old time. I even made bikinis. I made a bikini with Jen. I'm going to link over here to the um, kind of the fin final video so you can get an idea for everything that I made. It was so much fun and I did pick up some really good swimsuit sewing tips there so check it out if you're thinking about making one for yourself or you've been a little scared. 
definitely check that one out. You all, and until next time, I sincerely hope that you find joy and have a wonderful day.